potential difference is the work done or energy transferred per unit charge to move a positive charge from one point to another. And that definition gives rise to the first formula for potential difference with, with the symbol V. We know that potential difference is the work done per unit charge, so that is the amount of work done per unit charge, and that is in moving from one point to another. We can also see that since work is measured in joules and charge is measured in coulombs, that the units here would be joules per coulomb, which we also call volts or abbreviate V. Note here that work done and energy transferred are interchangeable in this case, so the formula can either be W over Q or also E over Q, but both of them still give rise to joules per coulomb, which is then measured in volts. The second part of this definition, which is also important, is per unit charge to move a charge from one point to another. Now this specifies that it's the work done per coulomb of charge between two points. So what that tells us is firstly it tells us why it is necessary for a voltmeter always to be connected in parallel over a circuit because what that voltmeter is doing is it is measuring the amount of energy that is used between one point in the circuit and another point in the circuit. The voltmeter is essentially counting the number of coulombs of charge that pass through there and measuring the amount of energy that each coulomb of charge is using to get through that because we know that resistors slow down current in the circuit thereby using up energy to pass through that resistor. It is also important to notice the difference between potential difference and electromotive force or EMF or M, which is the energy per unit charge imparted by an energy source and that is an energy source only, so the EMF that is measured across a battery would also be its potential difference, but EMF refers specifically to energy provided by energy sources, where potential difference refers to the amount of energy that is used per coulomb of charge to move a charge through any part of a circuit. A typical question on potential difference would be something along the lines of saying that this resistor over here is found to use 12 joules of energy for every 3 coulombs of charge. So every 3 coulombs of charge that moves through there uses up 12 joules of energy. What is the potential difference across that resistor? And we can say that V is equal to the amount of work that is done divided by the charge and that is 12 joules divided by 3 coulombs and we can say that there are 4 joules per coulomb of charge or 4 volts of potential difference between these two points in the circuit.